Brown and Keeler, thanks so much. Let's bring in Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois. Uh, Congressman, um, first of all, let me just get your reaction to the fact that according to these FEC reports, Hillary Clinton has $42 million cash on hand. Donald Trump has $1.3 million. You want Republicans to win the White House, although I know you're on sure about Mr. Trump himself, but that's got to be alarming in terms of the fundraising. Yeah, it's hugely alarming. And, and I think this goes to show, you know, uh, Donald Trump has tried to make a point that he doesn't need to run a traditional campaign. Well, you really do. Uh, you need fundraisers. You need people that can, you know, work and organize on the ground. One of the more astonishing things is, you know, Donald Trump has 70 employees and Hillary Clinton has something like 700 working to organize in the field. That's worth a lot of percent at the end. I think part of the problem you run into is, and it happens with any so-called self-funding candidate, is if they say, well, I can just write a check myself, you have a lot of small donors that go, well, then he doesn't need my $100 or $50 if I'm just basically displacing what he is going to write anyway. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's very concerning. I think big donors have been saying that, too. Have you yeah. heard from, look, you, you have to fundraise like every other public official in this country. Have you heard from donors saying that they're not going to give money to Trump? And, oh, and, sure. if, and if so, why? Yeah, I mean, I talked to a, I was talking with a big donor, emailing with one today, who just basically said he's staying out of the presidential race. He's going to help House and Senate Republicans to hold the House and Senate. Um, look, I mean, they're concerned the same reason I am. The same reason I'm not supporting Donald Trump is because I think temperament, I think, you know, spending more time attacking fellow Republicans, not doing what's necessary to unite. And we've seen his comments. I mean, a lot of these donors are really concerned with foreign policy, the role of America in the world. And we've seen a front runner that basically, you know, praises Vladimir Putin and condemns David Cameron because he called him a meanie. Now, you say you're not supporting Donald Trump. Is that forever or that's just right now? Well, no, I'm not a never Trump guy because in my mind to say never, then you're basically saying it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you come and start showing that you're a Republican or whatever. Uh, I'm a not there yet guy. And uh, each day that goes by, it's becoming harder and harder to see how I get there. But I really want to. I'd love to support the Republican nominee. But as I've said, I'm an American before I'm a Republican, and I have to put it through that filter first. Do you not worry that your position really helps hand the election over to Hillary Clinton? Well, sure. It's a concern. I mean, look, I'm not going to be the defining vote in Illinois. Illinois is a pretty Democratic state. Right, but there's an year. aggregate of all of you saying yeah. these things that might help tip the election towards Well, it's a concern. But, you know, look, as, as I've outlined, I have a lot of serious concerns with Donald Trump. And, and I take my position, you know, I'm a, I'm a private citizen. I hold nothing against people who... Uh, supported Donald Trump. I understand it. But as a citizen who happens to be a member of Congress, people ask my opinion. And my opinion is I have a hard time getting to yes on Donald Trump. And uh, I definitely don't want Hillary Clinton to win. You know, but at the end of the day, the uniting of the party is on Donald Trump. It's not on people like me. It's not on members of Congress. It's on the front runner. You see that in the Democratic Party as uh, Hillary Clinton tries to bring some of the Bernie Sanders folks on. So if the or today, what would you do? I would probably write in a Republican's name, and I'm not sure who yet. Interesting. Let me ask you a question. You're not just a member of Congress and a private citizen. You're also a veteran uh, who must have opinions about who would be a better commander-in-chief. In yeah. Would you be more comfortable with Hillary Clinton as commander-in-chief than you would uh, Donald Trump? And the reason I ask is because I think your foreign policy is closer to hers. Well, I'm not going to say I'd be more comfortable with one or the other. I have concerns with both of them, and uh, and I have real deep concerns with Donald Trump. You know, at the end of the day, I hope that over the next five months, Donald Trump can begin to articulate a foreign policy that that I agree with, at least in some level. I don't have to agree with him on 100 percent, but appears Republican and Reagan-esque. Uh, he's just not there yet. But can I just translate? I mean, yeah. you just said you have concerns about both of them, but then you said you have real deep concerns about Donald Trump. Yeah, and I have, that suggests that you have more concerns about him than you do about her. Well, and I have real concerns about Hillary Clinton, too. You look at the post game in Libya, and I supported intervention in Libya, but we turned our back in the post game, and the lack of action in Syria has been a big problem. Too. All right, Congressman, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here.